en briquant. Please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber hears testimony of a witness through TCW 1042 in relation to the methodology on the drawing up of a new list of S21 detainees, which was prepared by the office of the co-investigating judges. Ms. G. C. Huang, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Refier, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nujie is present Monsieur in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the grave. The witness who is to testify today, that is to TCW 1042, confirms that through her best knowledge, she has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is, Nunti and Kyosun Pon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Iron Club statue on the 15th of December 2016. The witness and the OCIJ legal officer are ready to be called by the chamber in the waiting room. Thank you. President, thank you, Mr. Chia Sihuang. The chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunchi dated 9 January 2017, which states that due to his health, that is, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to be present at the 9 January 2017 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chi by the duty daughter for the accused at ECCC, dated 9 January 2017, which notes that today Nguyen Chi has a constant lower back pain when he sits for long and the comments that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC Internal Rules, the Chamber grants Nuji his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via and audiovisual means. The Chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nuji can follow. That applies for the whole day. Court officer, please assure the witness and the uh, legal officer from the office of the court investigating judges into the courtroom.
Witness, I was born on 5th January 1984. Question, and where were you born? Question, où Answer. Réponse. I was born in Sankat 3 à Phnom Penh. Question. Question. Where is your present address? Quel est votre euh, domicile? Answer. I live in Bang Salam. À Bang Salam. Khan Tulkok, Phnom Penh. À Tulkok, Phnom Penh. Question. Uh, Question. What is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Answer. Réponse. I am a former analyst Je of the office of the co investigating judges. At present, I do not work. À actuelle, je ne pas. Question. What are the names of your parents? Question. Comment se vos parents? Answer. My father Réponse. is Han Sukum. He is deceased. Père, and décidé. my mother is Ma Prae. She Pra-e. stays at home. Et elle est mère au foyer. Question. Are you married? Question, êtes-vous marié? If so, what is si your oui, husband's name and how many children do you have? Avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My husband is Long Bun Lodge and we have a son. Nous avons un fils. President, I thank you. Président, je vous remercie. The graphie made an oral report and to your best knowledge and ability, you are not related by blood or by law to any of the two accused. There is no G and kills in Paul or any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is the report correct? Yes, exact. And uh, yes, uh, that is correct, Mr. Oui, President. Exact, Monsieur le President. Question. Also, the clergy reported uh, due to an oath to be for the Iron Club statue on the 15 December 2016. Is that correct? Exact. And uh, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. President, the Chamber would like now to inform you of your rights and obligations, obligations as a witness. Madame Hensotini, as a witness, in the proceedings before the Chamber, chambre, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against incrimination and uh, which may violate the conditions imposed by the co investigating uh, judges. That is E3443.1.1 and E3443.1.3. As for your obligations as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except your, your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you as the Chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness or may uh, violate the uh, conditions imposed by the co investigating judges as I uh, mentioned the document reference earlier. And you must tell the truth that you have known, had seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about the methodology used in the wrapping up of the new list of detainees or victims at I-21. That is in relation to those questions put to you by the bench or the relevant parties. And Madame Han the Madame international co investigating judge, imposed some questions in relation to your testimony in order to protect the ongoing investigation. Are you aware of that? Êtes-vous informé de cela? 
witness. Yes, I do understand about those uh, limitations. Oui, je comprends quelles sont les limites imposées. President, thank you. President, je vous remercie. And I'd like to direct my questions to the uh, legal officer of the OCIJ. And uh, may I know your status, uh, legal officer? Are you a madam or miss? And uh, what is your function? I'm um, miss Priyanka Turima, and I'm 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 Priyanka And may I ask again, are you married or are you single? Je vous redemande, êtes-vous marié ou êtes-vous célibataire? I apologize, um, je m'excuse. Uh, Your Honor, I didn't quite follow your first je question. Je n'avais pas I'm bien married. suivi votre question. Je suis marié. Bah, on a some chat. Thank you. President, merci. And I'd like to inform the parties and the general public that uh, Ms. Bianca Chirama, she is a legal Bianca officer of the Office Chirama of the Co-Investigating Judges, and she is sitting nearby the witness. She may object to any questions put the to the witness that may have impact on the ongoing investigation. Si celles-ci ont des and she also understands about the uh, conditions imposed by the international co-investigating judge. Par le co -juge international. And Madame Han Sotini, the chamber received uh, your request through WISU uh, that you would like to use a computer during your testimony in order to témoignage. refer to the uh, list which exists in the Excel spreadsheet form, that is the list of uh, S21 prisoners prepared by the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges. Co the Chamber heard the responses and observations from parties on the 15th of December 2016 regarding this matter, and no party objects to the use of the laptop. For that reason, the Chamber allows you to use the computer, which is in front of you, during your Testimony and the chamber would like to clarify the following uh, points. You may only use the computer to refer to true uh, documents only. First, that is the Excel spreadsheet of the new list of uh, detainees at I-21, which was prepared by the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges. And second, the Excel spreadsheet of uh, documents that were used uh, to draw up the new list of the S21 prisoners, and these two Excel spreadsheets have been uh, forwarded to the parties on Friday afternoon, that is the 6th of January 2017, and the two documents are also available on the desktop of the computer. And these two documents are E393.2 and E393.3. And in your uh, response to questions that you need to refer to the Excel spreadsheet, please uh, identify which column or which column number that you refer to so that the uh, parties and the chamber may follow you in your response. And also, please uh, uh, mention the uh, document number in case 002, that is the E3 number of each document that you refer to. And pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECCC internal rules, in questioning this witness, the Chamber grants the floor for us through the Defence Team for Nunchi to put questions. And the two defense teams have Les two court sessions to put questions to this witness. You may proceed. Ce témoin. Vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Your Honors. Uh, good morning, Maître Council. Coupo. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, good morning, Madam Bonjour witness. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, Madame um, le témoin. I'll be asking you some questions Je vais vous poser um, un certain nombre de questions morning, ce matin. And also part of the second session. Um, I would like uh, to start with just um, very few uh, questions 
concerning your background. Could you tell the chamber what you studied and what your last degree is? le dernier diplôme que vous avez obtenu. Allow to respond. I concluded my law degree fini mes études de droit at the rule in 2006. En 2006. Um, thank you. Um, Madam Witness, um, what were you, Merci, what are your professional experiences uh, before you were hired by Avant the Office of the Co-Investigating Judge? Était votre expérience professionnelle, ou votre parcours professionnel? I worked as a staff at the DC CAM and I was part of the project. project. It is known as the Accountability Air Project le projet at the DC CAM. And after that, rather as part of the project, I conducted the research cela, and uh, interviewed former uh, uh, day survivors in particular, the former Mayrus cadre throughout the country. And later on, I worked for the Office of the Co Investigating Judges in the Analyst Team. How long in total have you been working for DCK before you moved to OTIJ? I started working for DC CAM since 2004 and I continued until 2012. And after that, I came to work at the OCIJ as an analyst consultant from 2014 to 2016. Have you been hired by the OCIJ to work exclusively on the list that we will be discussing extensively today? I started working for the OCIJ in 2014. List of uh, S21 prisoners at OCIJ. My main function was to work on the list. And, uh, I was an analyst uh, consultant and my uh, work exclusively dealt with the uh, drawing up of the list. Um, is it correct if I say that your work for the OCIJ list is um, done? Exclusively in cases three and four. Et ou concerne exclusivement les dossiers trois et quatre. Nien kiem tu vata banchi sao mo pamui. I worked on the S21 list. J'ai travaillé sur la liste de S21. That's the only list that I worked on. C'est la seule liste sur laquelle j'ai travaillé. So, so you don't know if you're working in the cases three and four. Si cela concerne les dossiers zéro trois et quatre. I see you had some discussion with the legal officer. Vous avez consulté. Your work as an analyst was that exclusively in cases three and four. Votre travail en tant qu'analyste ne concernait ou ne portait que sur les dossiers 003 et 004, est-ce exact uh, After I, uh, I had to consult with my legal officer because uh, dû in fact the list that I worked on was uh, for cases 3 and 4 
And that was the, the purpose I was hired to work for CIG. That is uh, to work on the list and nothing else. Um, and would it be fair to say that you are exclusively answerable to the international co-investigating judge and not to the national? Vous ne répondiez qu'au co-juge d'instruction internationale et pas au co-juge d'instruction nationale? Uh, you work for the uh, Office of the International Co-Investigating Judge. Je travaillais pour le bureau du co-juge d'instruction international. Um, now let me move to um, the methodology of the, uh, the list. À présent passer à la méthodologie de la liste. Je vais commencer par um, quelques questions d'ordre général. Can you tell us? Nous dire, uh, can you tell the chamber how many uh, people chambre, worked with you on the vous list, or was it you exclusively um, who was busy seul? compiling that list? Êtes-vous la seule à vous occuper de cette liste, à la compiler? I worked on the list in 1997 and uh, the uh, guidelines of the Compilations of those uh, documents, so there were only two of us working on the list. Um, indeed, that was my next question. Um, and um, in a memo from the OCIJ, a person Dans un mémo called, du bureau des juges uh, d'instruction 381, M. Hiroto Fujiwara est mentionné. On dit de lui que c'est le chef d'équipe de l'unité des analystes. Um, did he, what, was he actively involved in, in, in the selection of documents, in, in the, the compiling of the list, or was his role more supervisory role? Is he active in the document for the redaction of the list, or is his role at a limited to the supervision of the work? Mr. Hiroto Fujiwara uh, was the one who uh, gathered the documents, that is, to gather the list uh, of the documents from uh, the CKM or uh, from two slides or from the uh, case files where I did not have access to. Um, I, I will move to this shortly. Um, one additional question about um, Mr. Fujiwara. Um, do you know his professional or academic, if any, background? Savez-vous quel était son parcours, professionnel ou universitaire? To my knowledge, when I came to work for the réponse. Office of the Court of Appeal Judges, and I learned that he was a team leader of the analysts, and that's all I know about him. Um, one last question about him. Do you know if he speaks or reads Khmer? Khmer. Through uh, my contact with him, I learned that he does not uh, know a Khmer. De, du contact que j'ai eu avec lui, je um, sais qu'il uh, ne parle pas le Khmer. You briefly indicated this already, um, but um, if I may ask you to be a, a bit more extensive Question. now, uh, vous can you tell us um, je vais vous de nous where de the détails. documents vous nous dire um, that you have um, examined or Selected, que vous avez sélectionné, um, que vous avez where examiné. They were, where they were coming from, where were they obtained? Plutôt d'où les documents que vous avez examinés, qui ont été sélectionnés, venaient. Auprès de qui ces documents ont-ils été obtenus? Documents that I uh, reviewed before I included them in the list uh, were mainly from uh, DCCAM. Uh, 
and the uh, Tulslang Museum. And the Museum of Tulslang. Are these the only two um, sources of origin of the documents que ce that you examine? Les deux seules sources, les deux seuls lieux de provenance des documents que vous avez examinés. In the list, uh, these two sources were the main sources that uh, we analyzed. Sources, sur lesquelles je me suis fondée. Um, just to be 100% sure, sure, you say main sources. Sûr, this could imply that, that there are other sources than these two. Mais à part ces deux sources là. Um, mais à part ces deux sources là. But just to be 100% sure on this, as I said. Pour que tout soit clair. Um, the sole sources of la seule um, source. the um, 13,383 documents uh, were uh, the documents archives of the Tulslang Museum les archives du musée and de ECCAM, Tulslang correct? Et le CDCAM, est-ce exact? Yes, uh, that is correct. They are the uh, sole uh, sources. Oui, c'est exact. Ce sont les seules sources. Um, did you yourself Question. go to Tulsling or DC Cam or Tulsling or CDCAM? Um, did you just find those thirteen thousand? Où avez-vous tout simplement trouvé? Um, 383 documents. Ces treize mille trois cent quatre-vingt-trois documents. Either on your desk or digitally on your table. computer ou euh, dans votre ordinateur sous forme numérique. First, my team leader Réponse. gave me Tout mon chef the list which he collected from the DC Chem uh, du on a website. He sur le site got web. a list of documents, Et and then he sent that list to DZCAM to obtain some uh, those documents. Il au CDCAM afin I ces documents. examined each uh, document from each document from the list. These are the sources liste. of documents that I examined. Ce sont là les I was not able to go directly to the DZCAM to collect all those documents. Some documents uh, are already available in SMD. I am the one who examined the documents uh, given by him. Les documents il remis. But, and I uh, saw, I examined only the list of the incoming prisoners. And I also went to Tourslai Museum, Je suis uh, maybe uh, in uh, February and March, to examine uh, certain documents so that I could include in my list. Afin de les inclure dans ma liste. Um, did you or did uh, Mr. Fujiwari Vous, Monsieur physically Fujiwara. take um, Original documents Avez -vous, concrètement, to, to OCIJ, either from DCCAM or from Tulsling, provenant de Tulsling ou du CDCAM, pour les amener au, C au BCJ. Generally, generally, he was the Réponse. team leader of the analyst, en so général, his responsibility was to collect. Analyse. All documents, uh, whether they uh, are at uh, DC Chem or Tulsling Museum, he led the team, and uh, he went with the team members. Again, he collected all documents uh, for the team, so that I could examine all those documents. Et ainsi que pu um, tous ces I understand, but, but just to be very precise, Question, you use the word uh, collect. Vous um, le terme recueillir. Does that simply mean digitally transferring par là documents from les documents the DCCAM digital archives numériquement to OCIJ? numérique du CDCAM vers le BCJ? Uh, 
uh, your book. I uh, do not know about this. It is his uh, responsibility and the work he done. Cela relève de sa responsabilité et de son travail, du travail qu'il avait effectué. Let me let me try one more time. Did, do you have, did you ever have physically in your hands? Avez-vous jamais um, eu concrètement entre les mains S21 documents? Des documents originaux provenant de S21. Allow me to uh, tell the chamber that Réponse. I do not have the physical uh, documents. Um, thank you. Um, Madam witness, do you know Question. or Merci. has maybe um, Mr. Fujiwari, Fujiwari told you at one point uh, whether Fujiwara, um, vous at Tuslang or DCCAM si. um, some sort of register would be available Il that would allow un certain register um, at Osling or CDCAM your team to understand qui permettrait um, à votre équipe the chain of custody de comprendre of these documents. La chaîne de conservation chain of custody de is, is, a, is, a, is a legal term. Uh, chaîne de you conservation, lawyer, maybe est un terme you are familiar juridique. with vous êtes the words vous uh, chain of custody. Vous êtes um, certainement familiar de ce terme, chaîne de conservation. Is, was your team in a position to understand que votre équipe était à même where DC Chem or Tulsling subsequently uh, had their documents from? Où Tulsling ou le CDCAM avait en définitive, d'où Tulsling et le CDCAM avaient en définitive obtenu ces documents? For me, I worked on the lists Réponse. available Moi, je in electronic sur les form in the computer and I uh, uh, do not know about the chain of custody based on my experience working on the lists. Uh, they were, I could uh, be able to know uh, which documents were contemporaneous uh, documents and which were not. Again, some documents uh, were from uh, uh, those lines and some other were from DC Camp. De plus, certains documents and if de uh, uh, the documents uh, uh, were from those lines, those Ici, documents uh, were uh, uh, collected by staff of that those lines, and some other documents uh, were collected by staff members of the DCCAM. Les autres documents étaient recueillis par le personnel du CDCAM. Um, Madam Witness, was there Question. any sort of Madame process? Within your team, Au sein de votre um, équipe, available to uh, verify the y -il un uh, authenticity of the documents, de vérifier um, or des did documents. you or the office uh, assume that since these documents were coming Ou from ACCAM or to Slang Archives, uh, that therefore documents they must be authentic? De archives, um, de, du CDK, in other words, être how did you make sure that the document terme, Comment avez-vous pu vous assurer que les documents que vous analysiez provenaient effectivement de de S21? Generally, we uh, could identify some Réponse. documents from S21 général, because S21 documents, documents de S21. Uh, are available in certain form. Donc, I examined uh, only the list of uh, incoming prisoners and uh, those documents sometimes uh, bear the signatures of uh, those who uh, obtained uh, the list at the time. If you show me the list, I am able to uh, explain you more easily. I, I will get to specific documents uh, shortly. Um, but my question is, um, what was your team's proof that a document that you analyzed was actually que les documents from S21 que vous analysiez provenaient uh, effectivement de S21 et non pas words, seulement du CDCAM ou de Tourslang. En d'autres termes, comment avez-vous pu vérifier 
qui s'agissait effectivement des documents d'époque émanant de S21. For my team, Réponse. My uh, team members and my team leader uh, collected uh, documents, uh, whether they were from S21 and from uh, the DZ camp. Uh, we uh, were the ones who collected those documents. C'est nous qui recueillons de tels documents. Um, That, that is not completely answering my question. question. Vous um, ne répondez pas totalement à ma question, Madame le témoin. Um, my, my question is, you have ma a question specific document, est la suivante. Uh, in hand. Vous It's avez entre les mains copy. un document précis um, sous format numérique. What methodology was present? What, what did you do Quelle to establish était that, that particular document pour was in fact que ce document coming from S21? In other words, how did you exclude that not someone in 1979 uh, forged a document? Qu'une for personne instance? dans les années 90 Comment avez-vous pu établir qu'une personne, par exemple, en 1979, n'a pas pu établir un faux de ce document Focused on the list Je me concentrais principalement sur la liste des prisonniers entrants. There was a, a letter hat, uh, and S21, also column and types. When I look at the document, I could uh, uh, know that document is Lorsque from S21, and uh, the, the document is usually uh, is very uh, old le and the form est généralement uh, is vieilli, comparatively vieux, uh, different from the form used at the present time. So S21 documents uh, use certain uh, layout or format. Le document, les documents issus de S21 avaient I understand une certaine that configuration and, um, ou un certain format. I'm not disputing, uh, La question, je le comprends, that, je ne conteste um, pas. Quite some documents have a certain layout and, le fait que and use of typography, un certain nombre de documents avaient tel type de configuration ou de typographie, um, etc. Um, et avant de passer à autre chose, um, une fois de plus, je vous pose la question de savoir comment votre was in fact, équipe écartait um, la possibilité que le document que vous analysiez um, Drafted before the 7th January 1979. Des documents rédigés avant le 7 janvier 1979. Let me make a clarification. The Réponse. list of uh, Je vais apporter un documents uh, does uh, do not in, in exclude uh, the documents uh, after uh, Khmer Rouge time. N'exclut pas les documents obtenus après la période ou les documents établis après la période des Khmer Rouge. Your definition of a contemporaneous document? Une question. Quelle est votre définition donc de documents datant de l'époque? Regarding the lists I examined on the top of uh, the page, uh, it has uh, the heading, for example, list of incoming prisoners. 
de en examinant le format et la signature to, des personnes qui ont établi les documents. Juge Fenz, pour mettre un peu d'ordre dans le débat, avez-vous utilisé for the list des documents that were created after 79? créés après 1979 pour établir la liste no L'auteur du document importe peu. No. Réponse non. So to be very clear, the only documents you use were such that were created between 75 and 79, no matter where you got them from. Établis entre 1975 et 1979, quelle que soit leur provenance. Carlo. Correct, Mr. President. Réponse. Oui. The other question Je that pense. still appears to be open. L'autre question qui reste pendante. Did your office est-ce que you votre bureau, vous-même, do anything to check if the documents que soit that you were analyzing si les documents were actually really created between 75 and 79, or did you just 1975 take the list as it came? Ou avez-vous tout simplement pris la liste telle qu'elle vous a été remise? I checked and examined all those documents réponse, before I uh, included in my list. Documents the documents I included in my list uh, were documents, documents of the Khmer Rouge time from 1975 up to 1979, but particularly uh, the S21 documents. You came to du document tel qui vous a été remis. The question isn't clear. Let me repeat. Juge Fenz, je vais répéter. When you said you only use documents created vous avez between dit 75 and 79, que des documents créés you are entre saying this because the dates on the document say 75 between 79. Is this correct? Or did you or anybody of your team take these documents, look at them, look at the paper, do anything else? Et euh, fait des vérifications ou autre chose. I only uh, examined Réponse. the documents and based on the dates uniquement uh, examiné les documents in the, those documents, for example, 1975 and 1979. Exemple, I did not use any other methods to make the analysis, forensic analysis. Mais qu'est-ce que vous avez fait pour analyser les documents en guise de suivi Et s'il n'y avait pas de date sur le document that because you were requested to study it, it must be uh, an S21 document. Présumé que le document étudié est un document émanant de S21. I checked and examined all Réponse. types of documents, the form, the format, de the, the logo the format, or typography, logo, and the signatures 
of uh, S21 staff members. And I also looked at the dates. Uh, there was a confusion if I only depended on the dates. Uh, some uh, documents uh, confusingly put the date, the year 1979 again. I uh, looked at the typography of the documents to make sure that uh, they were uh, Khmer Rouge documents. And some documents uh, bear the signatures and the logo and names of those who received uh, the documents. Um, how do you, um, Madam Witness, differentiate Madame between uh, a document from S21 and a document from, for instance, a uh, division prison uh, or a zone or district uh, security center. D'une prison de la division ou d'un centre de sécurité de la zone ou du district. First, I look at the top page the top uh, tout of the page, je en haut I de la mainly page. dealt with a S21 list. There was a logo je on the top uh, uh, saying that S21, S21 and the heading uh, say, says S21. Uh, list of uh, incoming prisoners and list, list of prisoners who were sent to some certain places. À tel ou tel Number two, I worked Deuxième on the lists from uh, sectors, et travaillé sur la so liste I could uh, make a uh, differentiation between the, the Je uh, these documents. Faire une distinction entre ces documents. Um, well, let's let's uh, make it concrete then, um, Mr. President. Uh, with Soyons your leave, I would like to hand a, um, a binder that we have prepared for the, avec the witness votre um, with some documents, uh, documents uh, underlying documents, certain documents, uh, documents sur that ligne, we are also uh, able to show on the screen. Documents and que j'aimerais faire um, projeter à l'écran également. Uh, while discussing these um, these documents, I have some questions. Et j'aurai quelques questions à poser concernant ces documents. Yes, please proceed. Le président, allez-y, maître. Uh, for the parties, um, maître Coupe. My first um, pour example. La Mon premier exemple. Um, Madam witness, you will find that in your binder at um, Vous le trouverez dans votre number one. Our documents E3 slash 9850, E3 slash 2093, and E3 slash 10416. Madam Witness, have you um, been able to find the examples and maybe we can um, start by putting E3 slash 9850 uh, on the screen. Uh, for your background, um, Madam Witness, and then you will understand my question. Uh, we believe that these are documents or examples of documents uh, without any S21 label or reference. À S21. Aucun logo de S21, aucune référence de S21. So E3 slash 98. E3 bar. 50 is now on the screen. Maybe we can start with that document. Nous pouvons commencer um, par ce document. If I am, if I understood correctly uh, from my uh, my colleagues, si compris, there is no mon collègue uh, reference Khmer, to uh, the letter il a pas de and numbers S21 at all. How did you establish, for instance, S that this particular document is in fact an S21 document? Alors, comment pouvez-vous établir qu'il s'agit effectivement d'un document émanant de S21? Uh, 
Let me clarify that this is uh, the documents from S21. This is the list of, in, the, of uh, the incoming prisoner on a daily basis. Why I say that? Because uh, there was the there is a column of alias in the current time in the list of documents. There is no column of alias. And there was all, there is also a, a column of original name for the current format. Usually, uh, uh, there is no column of alias, and there is a column of uh, position. So I can establish that this is S21 documents. Uh, and because of uh, the layout, the uh, format of the documents, there are many uh, documents of uh, this type uh, in the, the list, and those lists uh, are list, a list of uh, incoming prisoners. Um, But how did you exclude the possibility Question. that uh, there wasn't some other security center using the exact same format? Ou que d'autres centres de sécurité n'utilisaient pas exactement le même format? If it is difficult for me to respond to your question since uh, you uh, do not show me the exact document you, wanted, you want to know. In reality, uh, there are different formats uh, compared to the formats used by S21. Well, I, 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 I used one example and I showed you E3 slash 9850 doesn't have an S21 label, um, but you said because of format uh, S21, um, et cetera, it must be S21 document. My question again, how did you exclude the possibility that there might have been another Security center, maybe S22, S23, uh, maybe somewhere S22, in the province S23, using the exact same ou, uh, layout. D'autres centres de sécurité provinciaux qui utiliseraient exactement le même format ou la même configuration. Based on um, the experience, I worked on the S21 lists particularly lists of incoming prisoners. I looked at uh, the layout or format and type of the documents. For instance, uh, Grand Tatian Security exemple, Office, uh, they, uh, those uh, offices uh, use uh, different types of uh, layout or format. Um, well, let me move to another example. Um, that is your example, example uh, number two in your binder. This president, this is E3 slash um, 10,398. Um, um, Madam Witness, this is a document also without any reference to S21, um, but with the label of the Lonol regime on it. Can you put it on the screen? Yes. Um, un logo du régime de l'ONOL. Maître Juchmenz, pouvez-vous faire uh, projeter ce document? E3 slash 10398, a document without any S21 reference e and with a reference to the former l'ONOL regime. Qui uh, fait um, référence à l'ancien régime de l'ONOL et qui n'a pas de référence de S21. Il sera projeté sous peu à l'écran. Here it is. Voilà le document. Number four, maybe in your binder. Um, C'est peut-être le numéro quatre dans votre classeur. Mr. 
Maybe just have a look. Uh, there's some confusion as to the example uh, number, and we will check that in the, in the break, Madam Witness. But it is E3 slash 10398, and we'll put it again on the screen. This is a document without any reference to S21, uh, but with a reference to um, the Lonnol regime. There we have it. Uh, label My question is, how do you know label. that this is an S21 document? Ma question is the suivante. Comment savez-vous que ce document émane de S21? Regarding this uh, document, the year is 1977, the annual list of uh, prisoners. It does not say uh, the former uh, Lonnol soldiers. On parle du tout des anciens soldats de Lonnol. Let me ask you, but, but let me ask, um, Madam Witness, how do you know that this uh, is in fact an S21 document, E3-10398? I think this is a report of uh, the one who had uh, the list. I did not use this uh, document. And the names in uh, this document uh, are the names of prisoners at S21 because uh, some of the names, I have seen some of the names in other lists. And uh, this is a, a draft report before uh, the one who got this document include uh, the name, all the names in uh, the formal list. And this is a type of a handwritten a document. C'est un document manuscrit. The, the, the names of uh, the people in this uh, report uh, also uh, have uh, also are uh, also available in the list in other lists that I checked. Well, um, I'm, I'm not sure if I understood correctly um, everything you said, um, but you have used this particular document in uh, your list, uh, more specifically uh, in your list number um, 1968, uh, you used this particular document for a prisoner named Hing Sokom. Um, Nom d'un prisonnier sur ce so document again, en particulier. Donc, je répète la I'm référence. Sure if I understand Plutôt, je ne suis why pas certain de bien comprendre. Ce qui vous permet d'affirmer que c'est là bel et bien un document de S21. I thank you, Mr. President. I, d I don't know if Council gave her the OCIJ uh, number reference. Um, si on lui a donné uh, la I may have missed it, but the OCIJ number for this person is 1968. Uh, and if you look there, you'll see that in addition to the document that Council is questioning for about, there are three, at least three other uh, S21 records that are listed for that prisoner. 
documents qui sont référencés uh, that, that pour ce prisonnier. Uh, Notre copie effectivement c'est peut-être uh, le problème uh, et de fait j'ai dit 1968 document, um, à l'instant. Um, Madam Witness, and the question remains. Mais ça, Why did rien you use this document as a source for your list? Why is it an S21 document? Comme source pour établir votre liste. Pourquoi en avez-vous fait un document de S21? Some I look look like reading the chrome machine. Please refer to the serial number in my list since I cannot locate it. At the moment, list, parce que je n'arrive pas à retrouver President, uh, votre référence. Président. The witness uh, response is that she did not refer to these documents in her list, uh, but Le in your case, uh, your question put to her is that she referred to these documents in her list. But the witness clearly states that she did not ah, refer to these uh, documents uh, in drawing up her list. Document so it liste. seems that uh, your uh, follow-up question uh, contradicts to her previous and there you can see that this particular document is being used qu'on utilise um, ce document précisément others, entre autres for documents listing Hing Sokom pour le prisonnier Hing Sokom Maybe it will be helpful if, if, if you look at your list uh, 675. Que vous regardez le numéro 675 dans votre liste. Est-ce que vous l'avez trouvé? I still cannot locate it. Je ne trouve pas. Um, well, to prevent uh, further problems, the, we have a number in your Excel sheet you made. It's entry number 1968 for a prisoner named Hing Sokom. And as a source for this particular person being a prisoner, I understand that you have used uh, E3 slash 10398. My question is why have you used that document? To clarify again, in my list, it is for serial number 1968, the name is Heng Sokom, am I correct? Correct. Correct. Yes, correct. However, in my list, <coughs> Mais dans ma liste, it seems that I do not refer to this particular document. Il semble que je ne fasse and pas second, référence à ce I document. examine these documents that you provided to me, and that name does not seem to appear on this document. Et le nom n'apparaît pas sur le document que vous m'avez remis. Um, I'm not sure where things go. Uh, Wrong, but let me revisit the issue after the break, and I'll move on. Mais peut-être y revenir après la pause. Et je vais avancer en attendant. Um, thank you, Mr. President. I think the problem Merci, may be that the, the witness is using her, her original version, so she's looking at a list that probably only has the DC CAM numbers on it. Um, uh, so the, the DC CAM number for Et what is E3-10398 is D14825. 
Um, so I think perhaps it might be Des necessary. I know that we created a version of the list where we added E3 numbers, but it may be necessary for, for this purpose that you uh, council reference both the DC CAM number because then she should be able to see that in the list. Um, I'm not sure if I follow, um, Mr. President. We, we have been using these Excel entry numbers all the time, and these are unique numbers. Um, they are running from 1,000, from 1 till 15,102. So I, I presume that if I refer to the Excel entry number, that that should be very clear to the witness because she, she made that list. Or if I'm wrong, please inform me. Yeah. 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 Yeah
vous permet de faire une corroboration. Uh, relied on uh, his uh, assistant uh, named are the incoming uh, prisoners. Je me suis fondé sur le nom Second, existant parmi les prisonniers the, uh, entrants. Deuxièmement, en ce qui concerne la présentation the who the, uh, prisoners, utilisée par la personne qui enregistre les prisonniers, uh, the, outre, uh, columns which were, uh, prepared, les colonnes qui ont été préparées, uh, uh, qui type, correspond uh, That is the names, the names and the uh, position, on a le nom, as well as uh, le, the uh, number nom, of uh, documents regarding a particular uh, prisoner. Uh, the documents refer to uh, what he uh, answered. La and that is based on the documents that I examined. Et ça, c'est sur la base des documents que j'ai examinés. Person, uh, thank you. It is now convenient time for a short break. The chamber will take a break now and resume at 10.30 to continue our proceedings. Court officer, please assist uh, the witness at the waiting room reserved for uh, witnesses. And please uh, invite the witness and the uh, legal officers to the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.